A 1 meter by 1.5 meter cylindrical tank is full of oil with a specific gravity of 0 0.92. Find the force acting at the bottom of the tank in dynes. So the first thing we have to do here is to draw our cylindrical tank. We're first given the diameter of the base circle. That would be 1 meter. And then we're also given the height of our cylinder which is 1.5 meters. It also says that it is entirely filled with oil with a specific gravity of 0 0.92 and we're asked to find the force in dynes. Now, in order to find the force at the bottom of the tank, we need to know the mass of our substance, which in this case is our oil, multiplied by the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. Now, since the specific gravity of our oil is given, we can therefore use this formula to find the density of our oil. Simply replace the variables, and we know that the density of water is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Therefore, we get density of our oil at 120 kilograms per cubic meter. Now, in order to find our mass, we can simply multiply the density of our substance and its volume. We already have our density, so we can just put that in. Multiplied by the volume of our cylinder in this case. The area of our base circle is simply pi over 4 times the diameter which in this case is one meter squared. And then we multiply that by the height of our cylinder of 1.5 meters. Let's just quickly put that in our calculator. And we get a value of 1,083.85 kilograms. So now we have everything we need to get the force at the bottom of our tank. So let us simply refer back to our equation of F is equal to the mass times the gravitational acceleration. Multiplied by 9.81. Oops, that's meters. And we get a value of 10,632 newtons. Now, to convert that into dynes, we can simply multiply it by 100,000. Now, let's put that in our calculator. Let's see how many zeros this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our final answer would be 106.32 times 10 raised to the 7 dimes. That is our final answer. Now notice that this isn't actually in the choices. In scenarios like this, it's probably best to go with the nearest answer, which in this case is letter D. If this helped you, consider supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one.